Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And for my French speaking people, bonjour ou bonsoir. How are you today? I'm feeling super right now. I feel like a real YouTuber. We just hit 100 subs, so let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, so I'll be making a special video for you guys, but I don't know what I could do. So maybe you can hit me up on Instagram at Hacks TV. Uh, links in the description. Okay, so let's jump right in to what we're going to be doing today. So today we're going to be talking about Flexbox, right? So basically, what is Flexbox? If you watch my previous video, you're going to know what Flexbox is because I hinted at it. But right, so what is Flexbox? Okay, Flexbox is a one-dimensional layout method that has one format, either a row or a column. A row or a column. It's basic one dimensional like one dimensional and one d like flat flat basically and yeah so let's um i'm also going to mention why we use flexbox i kind of mentioned it before in my previous video but i'm going to recap all right so like now we're going to be talking about why we use flexbox so um flexbox is here to basically create layouts just like css grids but before people used to use floats um and positions like before but it was it's not really clean code and it can get clunky and whatnot so flexbox was introduced before css grids i forgot to mention that in a previous video i think so i'm reading my i'm redeeming myself now so the disadvantage of the positions and floats was that like the more complex things you must build the harder it is to position and use floats you know because you have to use like you have to add every single positions details in the various elements which is hard but with flexbox and css grid you can easily do that and then by the way you can use flexbox and css in one like web page because they, they work hand in hand you know all right um so I'm going to be mentioning some advantages of this, but before that, I'm going to talk about what, what we have here. So we have Flexbox. So let's say this little area here is our um, web page, right? So our web page, this whole thing, like the, let's say the light orange color is our parent container, right? Our parent container and it has a child container. We have the main axis and the cross axis. So basically, um, the, let, let's just think of it as this. The main axis is the y axis. The cross axis is the x axis. If you ever did math in school, you'll know what I'm talking about. And everybody did, so I assume you know. And then we have a parent container and a child container. So how Flexbox works is you basically add the uh, display flex to the parent element. And whatever the parent element has, the child inherits. So basically like inheritance. So here's a typical example. So we have, um, oh, I forgot to mention, the main start. We have main start, main end. This is basically like the beginning and end of it. Cro the cross is the same thing, but for the y-axis and then the x-axis. Then we have this, like the cross is the main axis. We've spoken about that. Now here the like there's a property called justify content basically it's like it's a property just for the x-axis and then the align items is a property only for the y-axis so basically you can like give maybe if you want to display something in a row like this this is how it's done if you want to do it in a column right here simple enough simple enough so now so what is actually the main axis? What is the main axis? I'm going to define it now. So the main axis runs in the direction of the child's container, right? Uh, but that, that is the main start and main end. That, that's what it's there for. And the same thing applies for cross, the cross, um, cross axis. So it's quite simple, really. All right. So now we're going to like jump into code and then i'm gonna show you how 
is done or implemented in code. So keep this in mind. All right. So hello, I'm back again. I'm going to be explaining in code how to do what we we're talking about before. Right. So what I what we did here is this, this is the parent box, right? And then it has three children. Note that please note that the body itself can be a parent, but we're going to be specifying ourselves right here, right? And then all I did was add just a little CSS like the body's height and width so that it can display whatever we put um, in our code, basically. Yeah, so we're going to start. So dot box was the name of the parent class. And then we want it, we want this one, two, three box to be a row. How do we do this? We simply say display, oops, flex, and we're done. And as we can see, we have a problem. It's not the same size. So how we fix this is simply by given the width, oops, width of 100%, and then a height of 100%. The reason we do this is because the box in itself does not have any specific width or height. So you can basically copy the body's height and width by saying this. But like when you're working with your an actual project, you have defined width and height according according to whatever you want to design. That's your preference. But I'm just using this for for an example. Please note this is not clean CSS. Thank you. Right. So we have this. We're happy. Nice. Cool. What if you want to center this right here? right how, well how we do this is simply by given whoops um yeah so what if you want to center this right here right how do we do this we say align items center whoops center and then boom like magic it's done but now what if we want to add gaps between these right like the cleanest way or the simplest way to explain it is basically calling the box right and then given the targeted like this is for targeting stuff in css and then let's say the box or the parent is targeting the children and what do the children have in common they have a div in common right so box targeting all divs in my children like all my children basically and then what, what do I want all my children to have I want them to all have a margin of five pixels right boom like magic it works on all sides clean right now what if we want to let's take this comment this, this out for now you can just simply say flex direction flex direction column Right, so now, what if we wanna, we don't want this to touch the head and we wanna spread them across. So how do we, how we do this is by saying justify content space evenly. Boom, it's done. So you see it's well centered and whatnot. You can say space around, it'll still work, but it'll be a bit clunky, but you know, cleaner. That's that. And yeah. That's one side property. That's flex direction. And then we have, okay, then we can have something called flex wrap. But for this, I need more, more divs, right? Okay, I'm back again. Sorry, I was trying to explain the flex wrap, but I had to type the whole thing again. I'm not adding colors because I don't want to. <laughs> oh my God, eight. That works for me. Right, seven. Let me just make them eight. 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 And then we have eight. Right. So what if we want to spread them nicely? Let's remove this flex column, whatever. Nice, nice. So 
we're gonna take these all out for now right so we took out all of these and then basically now we're gonna um, what if we want to make them all like columns in rows right just like the CSS grid and then this is basically if you maybe want to manage content in a different way you can say whoops flex wrap wrap and boom it'll automatically do that for you right so you see what it does hold on okay i don't know why there's an extra line here but just ignore that for now okay so now that you see we have one two three four five six seven eight in a nice column and row fashion that's sim very simple that's wrap flex wrap you can say flex no wrap and whatnot but like basically it just does the same thing back to normal so it's not really that super useful but with wrap you can do this so that's flex wrap you can say wrap reverse and what this does is basically reverse the order of your boxes so from one like one was on top let me uh, hold on this then see where the one is boom come down here very simple so that's that and then basically that's it you can that that's what we could do all right so that was basically the basics of flexbox you can i'll be i'll be leaving the link in the description to what inspired me to make this video and it'll have all the other properties and even a, a little quiz at the end um, if you want to take them, that's your choice. Yeah, so that was basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Comment what you think and what I should do next. And yeah, if you want, if you're trying to uh, reach me for anything, my socials are gonna be down in the description. Um, yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Peace.